Welcome to this new Visual Basic lesson. In today's lesson, we will cover the Visual Basic checkbox control. Here I have created a new project, named it Checkbox Control Project. What I'm going to do in this project, I'm going to go and grab a group box control. And let me find it. this one here and basically the group box control is very useful uh, for grouping related controls uh, or uh, check box controls or radio button controls in uh, for example radio button uh, group alright so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna come here and say in the text property I'm gonna say pick your car uh, options okay then I'm gonna grab a button control and put it down here and I'm gonna call this uh, the text property I'm gonna say display options and for the name property I'm gonna change it to BTN display alright so let me drag this here make this bigger now I'm gonna come here to the checkbox control uh, this one here I'm gonna drag it here and do control C control V alright I'm gonna make this a little bigger here so grab this one put it here you can make this one bigger like that so this one comes here this one comes on the bottom this one comes here this one comes here all right so I'm gonna control V again to alright so this serves the purpose okay I'm gonna uh, come here and change these to uh, the text or the name I have the name there CHK I'm gonna call it CHK it stands for checkbox and I'm gonna call this power seats seats and I'm gonna go to the text property and change these to power seats and come here and say uh, sunroof and uh, look for the name and say CHK sunroof um, roof alright and come here and say leather seats CHK leather seats to the name or the text and change it to leather seats almost done I have uh, this one here and I'm gonna change this text property to uh, what are we gonna call this one uh, let's call it GPS alright GPS and go to the bottom for the name property and say CHK GPS and what about this one we're gonna call this one CHK cruise control CHK cruise control and go to the text property and say cruise control last one that's gonna be this one this checkbox number six I'm gonna say here back uh, camera and to save time I'm gonna 
I control C and come to the name property and say CHK then paste this one here and C capital all right now this is an application to give the user a choice to pick one or more options for his car and basically the check box is uh, used in Visual Basic to allow the user to make multiple selections from a number of options and basically you can click a checkbox to select uh, an option and you can uh, pick another one to select another option and if you want to uh, deselect the uh, checkbox you just have to click it again and it will deselect it the checkbox control in Visual Basic provides a lot of events but the most used event is the check changed event now in this example we will uh, double click the BTN this button here BTN display to work with the checkboxes so I'm gonna double click it and here I'm going to do the following I'm gonna declare a string variable I'm gonna say dim str options as string equals you have selected the following options all right then let me put a like that now I'm gonna say the following if CHK power seats that checked I'm gonna look for the checked property equals true then do the following what are we going to do we're going to say str options all right plus equals CHK power seats that text all right let me explain this code basically what we are saying here if the uh, check box power seats is selected is checked then we're going to put this string variable here we're gonna put this string text sorry this string text yes this string variable here it's text you have selected the following options plus whatever is in the uh, text property of the CHK uh, seats let's see what's in the here it's power seats so it's gonna say you have selected the following options power seats all right I'm gonna copy this and do the following paste it here and instead of power seats I'm gonna say something else was the second option we have a sunroof sunroof which is the second option is set check then here is gonna be the sunroof CHK sunroof that text all right and of course I have to add the and if all right now I'm gonna grab this control C control V here and instead of sunroof now we're gonna say leather seats all right and the same here we're gonna say leather seats and I'm gonna come here and control V now we have the GPS CHK GPS all right then we're gonna grab the text of the CHK GPS and that is GPS all right I'm gonna come here what else do we have after GPS I believe we have cruise control yes then here I'm gonna say also cruise control and lastly we have 
the backup camera. And I'm going to do the same here. And that's uh, it. Let's uh, save this. Let's uh, come here. Everything looks good here. Let's. Uh, we have to find a place to display it. Yes, I forgot about that. So let me make this here. I'm going to grab a label. We're going to display this in a label. So for the label, I'm going to come here and uh, go to the style here and make it flat. I'm going to make it flat and go to the border style and I'm going to make it uh, fixed single. All right, then I'm going to go to the bottom and look for auto size and change it to false so that I can control it the way I want. Here it is. All right. Uh, let me make it bigger like this. Longer here. And here. Maybe even go bigger like that. And I'm going to remove that text where it says label one. I'm going to remove that. All right. So let me go back to my code. And here I am going. I'm going to say the following: label one. That text equals str options. All right. So we're going to put that into the uh, the str options into the label one. Okay. Now. It looks better. Let's run it. I'm going to drag and drop this here. Okay, I'm going to select and click you have selected the following options power seats and I'm gonna select this one and here it's got the sun roof and if I select this one it's got the leather seat and as you can see it's jammed it's too close to uh, each other let's uh, change that so what I'm going to do here I'm gonna do the following I'm gonna go to my code and uh, do the following so here, the str options right here. So this is what I'm going to do, equals. I'm going to put a quotation mark like that. And I'm going to make a space and come here and put the percent here. And that should do it. Right, I'm going to grab this and drop it here and also drop it here and drop it here as well and here and last one here all right so that's going to give me space and we put a comma uh, between each uh, option let's uh, save this let's uh, run it I'm gonna come here now let me click all right so option in fact the first one let me remove the first one because it doesn't make sense in the first one let me remove it but all right save it all right what is the problem here yes save this me uh, run it now okay I'm gonna grab it okay let's uh, pick the second one let's see here yes now you can see there is a comma and there is space here so if I ch choose this one there it is if I choose this one there it is there is also the comma that separates them and here and that's how we work with the checkbox control in Visual Basic and with this we come to the end of this lesson. I would like to thank you for watching and you have a good day.